Now here's an image I've done quite a bit of work to and right now I want to look at where I've been and where I'm at. In other words, before and after. The quick way to do before and after is with the forward slash key. That's what it looked like when I imported it, and that's what it looks like now. And you have a before and after icon down here in the lower left-hand corner of your toolbar. Now there's the before and after with a split view, left and right. If I go to the drop-down menu, I can do a left-right split in the same image. top and bottom, or a top and bottom split. Now in this particular image, the left-right split makes the most sense. There's my before and after. Now suppose I wanted to compare what I've got now to a previous step. That's very simple. I just go to the history panel and click a step and drag it to the left side. And that's what it looked like with the Clarity, Vibrance, and Saturation preset. Now here's what it looked like with the Haze. And you can look at various steps that you've taken. And here is another preset I had tried and actually I kind of like that but I, I do like the one I've got right now better but let, let's take a look at something else here I'm going to close the before and after view and go back to the single view now let's go back to that peachy sunrise now suppose I like this and I wanted to export it as an image or keep this when I was at this particular point. I can create what is known as a snapshot. And I'm going to call this Peachy Sunrise. And click Create. And now I'm going to create another snapshot. And you create a snapshot by clicking this plus sign to the right of the snapshots panel. And I'm going to call this one Warm sunset. Now suppose I wanted to tweak even more. Let's turn it into a black and white image. So I go over to the black and white panel and now I've got a black and white with kind of a sepia tone to it because I've got split toning on it. So I'm going to create another snapshot called black and white Now let's remove the split toning from it. And I want to tweak the black and white just a bit more and make the sky a bit darker. And I can do that with the targeted adjustment tool. Okay, now that's getting more the way I would like to have my black and white image. So I'm going to create yet another snapshot. And I'll call this Ansel Adams. He was one of my favorite photographers and he created some awesome black and white stuff. Okay, so now I've got all these snapshots here and I'm just going to leave this panel open. I can go back to any one of these looks at any time just by clicking the snapshot name. And I could export this or print it. Now if I reset the image, or go back here to import and click reset, now it's just as I imported it. And you'd think I lost all of those settings, but no. If I click Warm Sunset, there it is. Peachy Sunrise, 
black and white sepia tone, and Ansel Adams. So there are a couple of things you can do comparing an image before and after and working with snapshots in Lightroom.